So like everything else in Valve's library of Linux gaming tools, there's another for there's a fork of Valve's pressure vessel called Umu. Umu is pretty cool and that it provides the Steam runtime and builds a wine a proton prefix for everything as well. And Umu has its own proton fork and things like that. But it does a bunch of tweaks for you, a lot like Steam does straight out of the gate. It just makes it so that you can run those that those libraries without the need for installing or running Steam. It'll download the Sniper runtime for you and everything else. So you get that same environment that a lot of the games that are going to be building for Steam get, but without having to install Steam completely, and it can automatically manage your whatever Proton prefix you happen to be running is. So what I really like is an umu is an above ground oven of hot volcanic stones originating from Polynesian culture. After the stones are heated, the top layers are removed and the food placed on top to heat or cook. We chose the name because Valve's containerization tool is named pressure vessel. We're preparing the pressure vessel similar to how you would use a stovetop pressure cooker by placing it on our umu's stovetop. Again, this is for all of your games. <clears throat> So the README here has some basics about how they figured out how Steam runs things and then how to run Umu. Here's like a really big one that gives you most of what you're going to need to know about it. So you've got your games, oh, flags that you put on, tack onto the end. You've got the main program you're trying to run here. And then Umu Run precedes the program you're trying to run. So then you set your environment variables over here. So like your Proton Path, you can explicitly state that. You can change your game ID to be something different. And then you can give it a Wine Prefix to load it somewhere else. Or yeah, your Proton Path where Proton is going to be the Proton executable to run. And then yeah, your Prefix that you're running it in and creating. The other option that they add in is a store flag. So if there are special tweaks for like Epic Games or GOG or Steam or even Zoom platform, it has that automatically logged. So the basic one, it, there's a very, very, very basic way to run the game. Any game, pretty much. And you're looking at wine prefix. You don't even have to explicitly declare that. If I go, there's a simpler one somewhere in here. So game ID, Umu, and then whatever game it is you're running. So I can go over to this one over here. I've already got a couple of ones that I tried to run. Halo 2 and Star Wars Galactic Battlegrounds, it created these prefixes automatically. Upon first run of Umu, it does, and when you don't provide a Proton executable, it will automatically download Umu's pro latest Umu Proton for you. So now what we can do here is if we were to go, let's go with... Uh, ba -da -ba 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 -ba. We can go with Frozen Throne. How about that? <clears throat> so if I go, I can... I'm going to steal that. I'm going to... Warcraft 3, Frozen Throne, and then we go Warcraft 3, Frozen Throne, and we give it, where is it? FrozenThrone.exe. What it's going to do is it'll go through the first launch, you double checks that Umu Proton is up to date, and then it goes through and runs the game. Pretty simple. If it is willing to run. I've had issues with the Halo 2 because it's running Cartographer and a couple others, I think, and I've got to figure out the stuff with that. And then Star Wars Galactic Battlegrounds just has issues overall in general. I did not run it with, oh... Anything special, however. So,
as noted. I have no idea what's going on. Okay, so it halfway works. Some results may vary. I want to get one that actually does do what it's supposed to. That's not the one I wanted. Heroic was fine. So the nice thing about Umu is you should be quite capable of running it inside of Heroic if it really needed it. Heroic does a lot of things that it manages on its own. So, yeah. Let me Quake 3 Arena. Probably our better one. So we're going to go back up. We're going to go to Q3A. This one will probably run a bit better, in all reality. So, it runs the game, single player, ba -ba -da -ba -ba. it's got all my settings saved otherwise. You know, let's just go into it for fun. I can win. Fight. Welcome to Quake 3 Arena. Begin combat crash to win this arena. So, Crash. where is this dude? My goodness. You have taken the lead. Three frags left. Frags left. One frag left. Okay, cool. I like this. Wow. Cool. Anyway, <laughs> back, exit. So, yeah, it does run the games. You may have to tweak a few things, but. <clears throat> That's where the documentation comes further in. So like I said before, you can specify your proton path. You've got the proton verb that you can add in if it's valid. Game ID, they do show zero, but they do have other databases for that. Now you don't have to run everything on the command line like this. They do have toml options. So you can specify a toml file and then run with the config here. So you're shortening your whole command straight out of the gate for your game. Now, if I go back to here, we can go, if we go to not proton fixes, Umu database, this provides, a, the Umu database has a whole bunch of like tweaks that it can automatically apply based on certain variables, like your storefront, your title, pos what, yeah, title, do, do, do. Yeah, title can be used in Proton Fixes. You've got the code name that can have an effect on it. The Umu ID, which is basically the game ID. So it pulls from like different storefronts, depending on the one that you're using, to get a game ID that can apply certain fixes to the Proton prefix to make the game work better. And then, yeah. The acronyms and so on. So you can see they've provided a example of different options here. So Umu ID, big long one, big shorty one, and then <clears throat> yeah. So I could go in. So I've got this pulled up right here. If I wanted to run my total annihilation through Umu, I can give Game ID will start here, then do Umu, and I found my GOG game ID right here. So one two zero 
seven six five eight 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 zero <clears throat> I can also give it a store of GOG so it tells it that I'm running the GOG executable with this and then if I go back to my documentation let's see I'm not too worried about providing a prefix for it straight away so I will allow it to automatically make the prefix in the umu folder so if I go back here each one of the, the two new games that I've created, it's created the Quake 3 prefix and the Warcraft 3 prefix. It'll automatically create that Total Annihilation prefix for me when I go to run it. So now I can go, I'm already in home, so I go games, uh, GOG, let's see, then I can go Drive C, GOG games, total annihilation, and then no, I need it to be total a.exe. <clears throat> I will run it, it will look through it. Let's see, Steam runtime's up today. It upgrades the prefix based on different things, creates it, and then it runs my game. What began as a conflict over the transfer and now, of consciousness from flesh to machine. I've specified that, and so now I can... Wow. Okay, I'm going to keep this in mind. I had is issues with escalation before, but now that I know that Umu can run it really well, this is actually pretty fun to know. Select map. I can go, let's see, shore to shore. My default select testing map. We will do... Map, permanent, medium. And then we can click start. It will take forever to run everything. And now I can sit here. Uh, I'm laying it out like this, but I can Save game. I guess I have done this already. Um, add another one. Exit game. Yes. So you can see it runs pretty well. It. I don't think I've quite run into too many games that have tweaks for it specifically. But there's plenty of options. And as I've noted with, I think, the Land Commander video... The only issue is that it doesn't have a way to, like, that provides the Linux binaries. So Umu would be a great supplement for LAN Commander to work really well with all the Windows games that people like to use. Because then you can provide the Umu, Umu launcher t for it to interface with and run things that way. But anyway, that's a whole other thing. Umu's pretty cool. The documentation is actually quite extensive. And being able to have all of this here to run the game this way is actually pretty nice without having to run Steam. Because as you can see, like there's no Steam running up here. So 
Proton, we've got a lot of tools at our disposal. Umu just makes a lot of things a lot simpler and easier to work with. So you can, def again, define your own arbitrary game IDs or use ones that are official based on the storefront and things like that. So take a look at it. I like it. If you liked the content, if you enjoyed it, if you think I deserve it, like, comment, subscribe, leave any criticisms you have or what have you. I appreciate it. Feed that algorithm, like I said, and I will see you guys in the next one.